All right, class, welcome back. Today we're doing section 3.8, which is all about uh, solving uh, problems that involve percentages. So, write your name and today's date. So, um, when solving problems with percentages, uh, here's an example. A jacket costs $48 and is on sale for 30% off. Uh, how much would you save and what is the final cost of the jacket? Okay, so um, basically what we need to figure out is uh, the jacket is normally $48, but we're going to take 30% of that off of the price. Well, in order to figure that out, we need to figure out, well, what is uh, – one of the questions would we would have to ask would be what is 30% of $48? Now, what I want you to realize is that 30% uh, of something, when we talk about a percentage of something, this of, really we can just think about as being a multiplication. So 30% of $48 is just the same thing as 30% times $48. Now, to do 30% times $48, uh, just like we did before, we always want to do a bit of an estimate to see uh, how close to our actual number we're going to get. So over on the side here, I'm just going to do a quick estimate, and I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. And I'm just going to try, I'm going to try and simplify this percentage um, to make it something, make it like a fraction that's just a little bit easier for me to deal with. So for example, uh, I'm going to think about 30%. 30% is approximately... Twenty five percent. It's pretty close. And twenty five percent, I know that that's the same as one quarter. So for my estimate, I'm just going to figure out what is a quarter of forty eight dollars, and then um, and then I'm going to go from there. So one quarter of forty eight dollars. I know that one quarter of forty eight dollars. There's um, four goes into forty eight twelve times. So that would be around. $12. So I'm estimating it somewhere somewhere around $12. I guess 30% will be a little bit more than 12. So I need to multiply 30% times 48. But remember that percent, uh, that represents a ratio or a fraction or a decimal. And so I can't just multiply 30 times 48. I need to convert it into a decimal first. Okay, so I'm going to convert this into a decimal. And then see what I get. So 30% as a decimal is, I know that that's going to be 30 over 100, which is equal to 0 0.3. Now I could put 0 0.30, but we know that that's the same thing. So really what this question is asking me first off is what is 0 0.3 times 48? And I'm going to do that just like I did my previous uh, calculations when multiplying and multiplying uh, decimals. So I'm going to do 48 times 0 0.3, and I'm going to line it up vertically like that. So I'm going to go through step by step. So 3 times 8 is 24, carry the 2. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. And then you'll notice I don't need to do the next step here. This 0, if I multiply it across, that's going to be 0 times 8 is 0, and 0 times 4 is 0. So I can just stop right there. My answer is 144. 4, 4. The only question is, where do I put this decimal point? Well, if I look over here at my estimate, my estimate is around $12. So if 144 4 is what I came up with, it makes the most sense to put my decimal point right here. And so that would be $14.40. Um, now, that's the first part of the question, how much we saved. We saved 30%. So this is really the answer to part A. Part B is asking, what is the final cost of the jacket? And then to do that, we're going to have to do a subtraction. So the jacket initially, part B, the jacket initially was $48. And I'm going to subtract from that $14.40. Remember with subtraction, it's really important that we line up our decimals. So $48 is actually 48 point zero zero dollars and now I can do my subtraction so zero minus zero is zero zero minus four well I'm gonna have to borrow one from this side right here to make ten so ten minus four is six and then I can put my decimal down here and seven minus four is three and four minus one is three as well so the final price of the jacket is gonna be thirty three dollars and sixty cents okay next question a book costs $9 and there's an $8 sales tax. What is the final sale price? 
<clears throat> okay. So um, first thing I'm going to do here, so nine a nine dollar book and eight percent sales tax. So that basically what I'm asking is what is eight percent of nine dollars? And like we saw before, really that's just saying what's eight percent times nine dollars. So I'm going to do an estimate over here, and I'm going to say, look, eight percent, eight percent. That's really pretty close to just ten percent. If I'm just going to ballpark things, now ten percent. I know that that is equal to ten over one hundred, or one over ten. Now I'm going to go ahead and simplify the price of the book as well, because again, I just need a, a ballpark. So I'm going to think about this nine dollar book as being basically, let's think of that as being about $10. So I need to figure out what is one-tenth of $10. And we know that one goes in 10 times, so really that's just going to be $1. So I'm expecting my answer to be somewhere around $1. So I'm going to do 8% times $9. Remember that I can't just do 8 times 9. My first step is I need to convert this into a decimal. So 8 percent is the same as 8 over 100, which is the same as 0 0.08. I'm going to multiply this times my $9. So just like I did before, I'm going to line things up vertically. I'm going to put my $9 on top, multiply by, oops, multiply by 0 0.08, and I've got 8 times 9 is 72. Seven. Bring 7 down. Now again, <clears throat> when I do this next step, these zeros, I can go ahead and multiply by 9, but they're not really going to get me anywhere. So I end up with 72 as my answer, and the question is simply, where does my decimal go? Well, I've got two ways to do this. The first way is to look back over here at my estimate. So my estimate is around a dollar. So the place that mo makes the most sense would be to actually put the decimal place right here and call this 0 0.72. So just remember that the other way we have for checking to see if we have our decimal place in the right spot is to go back and look at our um, go back and look at our original uh, numbers that we multiplied. In this case, nine times 0 0.08, and count up the decimal numbers. So here I've got one, two decimal numbers, and then in the answer I ended up with two uh, numbers after the decimal as well. So I know I've got the right answer there. Now we're not quite done because if you look back at the original question, it's asking what is the final sale price of the book. So we have to be careful, especially with these word problems. Go back and check and make sure we're actually answering the question that we're being asked. And so um, the final sale price, of course, is going to be the nine dollars. Uh, plus the zero dollars, uh, the 72 cents that we need to pay for tax. So um, just like with subtraction, we line up our decimal place when we do addition. So nine, and I'll just add in some zeros here, 9.00, and add two and zero is two, seven plus zero is seven, bring down my decimal place, and there's my nine. And so my final answer is, uh, my final answer is nine dollars and 72 cents. Okay, that's it for 3.8. Don't forget to do the recap.